John Eats Cheap, and we're doing another Encore Entree, $3.97 at the grocery store. I've even seen them as low as uh, $3.09 on sale. Encore Entrees. Now, we did the chicken parmesan, and I think our biggest request was, or I won't say request, I'll say suggestion was Salisbury steak is the best. That and the turkey and the ribs. So a lot of people said, you know, you tried the worst one. So we're going to try the Salisbury steaks and gravy. Six of them in here. And this was $3.97. So we're going to do that. And they said, do that with some instant mashed potatoes. That's memories. A lot of people had great memories of that. So we're going to do it. And we're also going to show you the easy way to make easy instant mashed potatoes. So let's get started. So we did get a lot of people asking, how much sodium? How much sodium? Well, here's the sodium level. 650 milligrams per serving, which is which is one Salisbury steak. And the daily recommended allowance, I, I looked it up, is, uh, what did I say, 2,300 milligrams per day. So that doesn't sound that high in sodium to me for one meal. I mean, I know I'm not including what's in the potatoes, I guess, but I guess that doesn't really sound that high. The other thing people said, besides the Salisbury steak, they said with all the Encore entrees, don't do them in the microwave. They're horrible that way. You got to do it in the oven. So I've got my oven preheating to 375. We're supposed to put it on a cookie sheet. I believe it says to uh, remove film. So we're going to do that. Oh, and I have a problem already. It looks like there's a steak on top of another steak. <laughs> It'll be okay. I'm sure it will. Mm. But the film was kind of pulling away a little bit of my protective, uh, I don't know what you call the Teflon on a, on a cardboard thing. <laughs> you see what I mean? I think it'll be all right. I hope so. I'm going to get all of it off there, though, because I don't want it to melt into the Salisbury steak like that. Well, that's just on the edge. It's not in the pan. All that's right, there we go. All right, so the oven's preheated. We are going in 375 for 55 minutes. All right, so cheap, quick, and easy. Uh, reality, I always make real mashed potatoes. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm going to do it the cheap way. I got some Hungry Jacks. And see the instructions on the back? Here's... Here's the deal on these, look. Pay no attention to those instructions. Here's how you make instant mashed potatoes and they're gonna be fine. They're gonna be great. So I got milk. I don't know how much that is, half a cup, three quarters of a cup. You just put some milk in there, a little bit of salt and some butter. I'm gonna do three tablespoons, I guess. You don't need to measure that precisely as they tell you on the box. We're gonna get that up to where it's almost boiling. We'll add our potatoes. So we're up to speed. I'm gonna add in mashed potatoes. I'll start with that many. And here's the thing. If I'm gonna turn off the heat, mix these in. If it's too thin, you add some more instant mashed potatoes. If it's too thick, you add a little more milk. Let me take it off the heat. I'm going to need a little bit more. But just play it by ear. You don't need to do this water-milk mixture. Just do milk and butter. Much tastier. I think that might be about the consistency we need. So I'm going to get a little mixed up and cover it. All right, so there we are, the Encore... Salisbury steak. I'm going to get this guy down here that's nice and covered with gravy. Got a little chunk out. That's okay. It's under there somewhere. Get these covered with gravy. There's a lot of gravy there. That's a good thing. Our instant mashed potatoes done the not the way they're supposed to be done. Get a little gravy on the plate, on those taters. Look at that. 
That's a good cheap meal. Mrs. Cheap is kind of rolling her eyes like, huh, ah, I don't know. But you know what? When times are tough, even when they're not, you just want an easy meal. And we had a lot of recommendations for this Salisbury steak from Encore. It's an excellent Salisbury steak. Get a little with the mashed taters. Instant mashed taters, gravy. We could probably add a vegetable and it would be more filling, but uh, this is pretty filling for both of us. We don't have room for vegetables very often. You know what? Everybody was right. This, this is really very good. Um, you know, it's, I don't think it's that high in sodium. Like everybody complained about all these meals for the daily allowance. If you eat this, that's, that still leaves you a lot of sodium left. This is a big thumbs up. It's better than the chicken parm. I agree with, agree with everybody who said that. So this is great. We will have leftovers. I will probably eat those. Mrs. Cheap, not so much. She'll have a shrimp quesadilla or something else left over. Am I right? I'm a little picky, I'll admit. <laughs> this is really good though, and I almost hate to say it. It's it's like the it's like the TV dinners. But you know what? A lot of those are really pretty good. Uh let us know what other stuff we should try. Uh follow Johnny Cheap, give us a thumbs up, a like, a share, and we're ready to dig in. Mrs. Cheap has got a smile on her face. She knows she's eating well tonight. Well, she may not be eating the best, but she is eating cheap with John Eats Cheap.